Congressman Abigail Spanberger talking at the UVA Batten School of Leadership today and Public Policy about the Hamas, uh, the war against uh, Hamas by Israel and the chaos in Capitol Hill. Yeah, Spanberger reflecting on her career in public service as well. Our CBS 19 Sarah Allen was there and has the story. Sarah. Hey, Rick and Ashley. Spanberger reflected on her multiple titles as a public servant, as well as provided some input as to what is currently happening domestically in Washington and internationally in Gaza. Virginia's 7th District Representative Abigail Spamberger spoke to students and the UVA community today as a part of the Batten Hour series of events. The attendees also used the opportunity to get input from the Congresswoman on the war in the Middle East and the chaos on Capitol Hill. There have been movements for liberation, there have been movements for freedom throughout the world that have been successful, that have brought peace, that have brought change, that have brought progress, some here in the United States, in South Africa, throughout other parts of the world. And they did not do it by murdering babies. Spanberger also reflected on her time in the CIA, where she worked domestically and internationally to keep the country safe from terrorism and inform policymakers on their national security decisions. With that experience, she feels strongly about the current war taking place in Gaza. Hamas is a terrorist organization, and the murder of children and families in their beds, in their homes, is absolutely something that I will condemn every single day. While back in the United States, the House of Representatives is scheduled to vote tomorrow at noon for the new Speaker of the House. Uh, there's been one nominee, he couldn't get 217. There's one nominee, it seems unlikely to get 217. That's the current amount necessary to win the Speakership. And all the while, Democrats are saying, hey guys, we can work together. Do you want to work together? Spamberger tells us that all 212 Democrats are likely to vote for Hakeem Jeffries, the current minority leader. And it would only take five Republican votes for Jeffries to then assume the position as speaker. In the studio, Sarah Allen, CBS 19 News.